What is going on, everybody? Dude, I don't know why every time I do an intro, I can never get it right. But iOS 12 Beta 8 came out. And I want to apologize for another thing. I'm sorry the scenery in the back isn't as nice as it should be. The iPhone 6S and iPhone 6 videos actually came out pretty decent. But this one, I waited too long and now it's like dark now. But And basically, iOS 12 Beta 8, if I can sum up in like one word, it would be optimism because you know it's just literally like what ios 12 beta 7 should have been or just consistency or maybe there's a lot of other synonyms i can name but you know those were the first ones that came to my head and i was 12 beta 7 really i would consider a flop because apple had to retract it and this was the only phone that i actually was this in the iphone 7 but i didn't even know i had it on the iphone 7 until after but this is one of the only phones at a time that i thought that i installed i was 12 beta 7 over the air and that was actually pretty interesting because I ran with it and it ran just fine and I didn't really have any problems with it. But, you know, by me saying that, I'm not saying the problem didn't exist. It very well could have. But I'm just saying for me, it didn't really show up on my phone. But that is one thing that I have to say. Now, with iOS 12 beta 8, they really just whatever problems that iOS 12 beta 7 had, they went ahead and fixed it. And I was running beta 6 on this before and I do have a multi-core score from then. And I do believe I have one from beta 7 as well, but I don't recall. I think I did run a multi-core score for beta 7. But really, iOS 12 has been okay. And I had some weird issues with iOS 12 beta 5 and beta 6 actually. And whenever I would try to connect Bluetooth to my car, for example, and, it, and I was fully connected, I was connected before. But every time I would like play music sometimes my voice memos would like randomly play and it would only happen after I was done making a voice memo and I would connect to a device. So I would make a voice memo, whatever me talking. So I would hop in my car and connect to it, right? But then randomly, like my voice memos would start playing without even me trying to open the app and play it or something like that. And that was really awkward because sometimes I might be with somebody and my voice memos would be playing. And it's like me talking or my grocery list and it's like, oh my bad, it's kind of awkward. And it's like, why does I keep playing? And whenever I would shut my phone and I would like open it, my, the voice memos then would be right here. And I would have to click to stop or pause to stop it. And it still wouldn't work and it would just be really awkward. So that's one issue I found in iOS 12, beta 5 and beta 6. And I didn't really talk about it before, but I talk about it now. Now I did run a benchmark in our iOS 12, beta 7 at a multi-core score of 67,532. And I just re-ran it and it actually went down actually. Wow, that's surprising. It went down to 66,012. So there was actually better performance, I'm guessing, on iOS 12 beta 7 than on iOS 12 beta 8. So that's really weird. I was expecting it to go up because they fixed more bugs and I thought they would make it more stable, thus making it faster. But that is not the case here. And it's really not that big of a deal. Like I always say, I think this is my favorite code I've ever done. I don't know if I made it up or not, but I would be willing to give up more speed and performance and all that to gain back stability. Um, if nobody else quoted that, I'm ending that quote right now, I'm going to copyright it. But I honestly think that iOS 12 right now is getting better. I think beta 7 was just a small little hiccup. I don't think it's going to affect them. I mean, people make hiccups all the time. I messed up like 10 times today, but really, I think it's a good step. My overall thoughts with iOS 12 are it's looking good. They still removed group FaceTime, which is kind of annoying. I don't like how they add features and take away features. Seems like a really weird thing for them to do, but I'm looking forward to it. And this is just one more beta. I have speed test coming tomorrow, as I always do, so stay tuned for that. I know a lot of you guys like it, and we're going to compare beta 7, actually, to beta 8 on this phone. So I'm going to start doing more iPhones and speed comparisons on all that stuff. But if you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, but definitely hit that subscribe button. We're still giving away an iPhone success and an iPhone SE on this channel. And in order to enter, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Both those links are down in the description. So make sure you guys enter that. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.